Communities and Schools is a program that works to help students to be successful, to help prevent dropout, and to kind of partner the school, be a liaison between the school and the community. And so they look for barriers that the students are having that are keeping them from being successful and try to come up with strategies and targets to help them with that. Approximately 20 years ago, uh, different districts or communities that I worked in, I uh, was able to coordinate with them and uh, learn about their resources. I heard such great things whenever we were in talks of offering this type of program. I knew that they would be perfect for our students, for our community, and for our campus. If they need food, if they need glasses, if they need clothing, um, if they're having problems with attendance, trying to figure out, okay, what's keeping them from coming to school, how can we help. Perfect opportunity to, to bring in communities and schools to, to reach our students uh, and also reach our community. Uh, so we can create that partnership or that bridge between the community and the school. She's super enthusiastic. Um, when we went to select this person, we knew that we wanted a person that was gonna be able to provide our students with all their needs, they were going to be able to be relatable to them and as well as be able to go into the community and advocate for our students. I am Kristen Thomas and I am the Huntsville High School Communities and Schools Site Coordinator. I am a Hornet, I graduated in 2001, a former employee at Gulf Coast Trade Center which was a juvenile detention center. My goal as a site coordinator is to aid in any way to make sure they have academic success and personal self-sufficiency. I'm accountable to the students, I'm accountable to the uh, district, and I am definitely accountable to TEA. The tier one will be just me interacting with the campus as a whole. The tier twos is me focusing directly on those students that may need a little extra help, whatever area that may be. And the tier three is me giving that one-on-one -on -one assistance to the students. Parents may need, need something, that one-on-one -on -one with that family. If, if you're coming to school every day, you deserve to have pencils and pens like everyone else. If you come to, you deserve to have what you think you need to succeed. The thing that is worth having and that they deserve, they're going to have to work for. And that means by putting in work on my part, putting in work from them, and the work that they as a community puts in to help them. Fully joy, full of energy, uh, and she's all about students. Uh, she's got a great spirit about her. So once, uh, once we get, uh, get everything moved and get her situated, uh, the plan is to have it in a central location, and uh, but she's going to plan to set up a food pantry, a clothing pantry, and also have a meeting area to be able to meet with parents, meet with community uh, representatives, and uh, and also staff members. Miss Thomas is awesome. She is energetic. She's fun. The kids are already connecting with her. She came to meet and greet, and was meeting parents and the students and. She is going to be a great asset to our school and community. I want them to graduate and be successful individuals. So, like I said, I'm an incentives lady. The little things count, but the big things move mountains. That's it. <laughs> that was it. She should have taken this off and dropped it. Yeah. You can still put it in there. It moves mountains. <laughs>